Hello friends, hello YouTube, my name is Kashif. Uh, I am going to tell you how to install Kalinux operating system in, in your UFVI based firmware laptop or PC. The first thing you want is your backup of your Windows cassette or you need to have your original Windows cassette or your current operating system which you are using then you need to reinstall your uh, you know uh, windows operating system in uh, uh, you say legacy mode i'll tell you how to do this first just switch off your computer and just have a bootable de device that is cd rom or your usb cassette which uh, consists of uh, windows operating system of your current operating system backup of your current operating system after that just turn on your just restart your computer in my case i need to press uh, uh, escape button uh, in order to uh, go to your bootloader settings i need to configure something in my bootloader settings so in your pc it might be delete key or it may be a type key in my case i am using hp pavilion in in my uh, in my laptop or pc i am having escape uh, key to be pressed as you guys can see my pc is switched off just boot it up and just press escape key just hold and press escape key you could you could have seen something like this uh, just to press f10 for entering bios setup that is f10 just press f10 and enter bios setup 10 here you enter in your bios in your bios you see these kind of options just go to your you know system configuration just go to your last option boot options now here you can see that uh, the, they are uh, CD you can set this CD boot on or off that doesn't matter that depends on your boot device you are using here just see legacy support just enable this legacy support in my case it's already enabled but in your case it will be UFVI uh, you can see uh, wait just a second secure boot is disabled and the uh, here you can see the legacy support yes the legacy support this thing it, it was previous in your case was UFVA just click on this legacy support and enable if you disable this I'll just tell you what happens see if you now the legacy support is disabled now if you disable this thing legacy support now your network root protocol will be something ip4 plus ip6 ufvi so in order to install a linux this should your ufvi machine should be just a legacy support so to enable this just go to your legacy support just enable it yes now after that you enable it just uh, you know just do the settings of your bootloader which I have told you just to change your legacy option now what you need to do is uh, you need to reinstall your windows in legacy mode not in UFVA mode for to install Kalinux I will tell just power power on your button and press escape key once again that's all you are done now just select F9 boot device option in my case you can see you can clearly see here F F9 boot device options F9 now you can see boot from UFVI file boot from uh, USB hard drive HP 215 node, notebook hard, uh, hard drive this is a Kalinux. Linux I have reinstalled windows already so you people must reinstall windows in this thing in this mode not in EFVI mode just in uh, what is the legacy support when when you are reinstalling your windows there will be two options happening that is usb hard drive say in my case it's hp hp version 215 215b uh, ufei 
and second option will be something like this usb hard drive hp version 2151b there will be nothing specified that is uh, say ufei or efi so you need to select that option without efi efi i have already did this now i am going to reinstall sorry now i have reinstalled my windows now i am going to install the kali linux so for kali linux only three options appears that is boot from efi file usb hard drive hp version 215 no efi option so just select that option here we go now just select graphical install wait for some time you need to select the uh, no, not UFA option legacy support English United Kingdom United States sorry American English okay take back of your backup of your windows reinstall it then I can install Kalinux in non UFA mode that is legacy mode and install your windows in non UFA mode that is your legacy mode do not uh, uh, install your windows in again your UFA mode otherwise your Linux cannot be installed now I don't want to install this thing say I don't want to configure the network I need to I, I won't want to configure the network I'll just set up the users and the password say the root password remember the root password Type it properly. Set continue. And remember, when you are logging in Kali Linux after installing, your username will be root and your password will be selected. I don't want to configure, but still it's asking. I'll just skip it like this. Uh, this video is taking a bit of time be patient I'll just select do not configure network at this time if you want you can configure but no need don't change the host name leave, leave it as it is Kalili just select Eastern now the partitioner now just select the partition manual you need to make a separate space here see this is 34.9 is my free space which I which I have uh, made earlier for Kalinux this is this all free spaces is for you know uh, this is this is all for our uh, reserve so I am not going to touch this is nothing but 34.9 GB which I have already made this disk free for Kali Linux I will just select this disk I have not shown in this video but many videos are available how to make a partition for operating system for installation you can see this so see those videos now just I will just say create a new partition 34.9 continue yes ok ok this thing mount point is nothing but my root mount options are default yeah root file system I don't want anything label is none this is all nothing bootable flag is off now just select done up setting partition 
now just click continue then partition setting sorry finish partition right to disk last option just select S sorry finish up setting up just select no I don't want this swap setting you can read those now just select S first option is no second option is S now you can see the partitioner setting is done now the system is installing so be patient until the system is installed it takes a long bit of time so have a cup of tea or your drink hang up out there wait for wait for it to install i'll come back to you guys when this procedure is almost completed when the installation is almost done now here we are almost done installing just wait for a few seconds here we go now we are done now just turn, I did not configure the network so option has been given again after installing the operating system to configure the network at this time I'll just select no I need to install the bootloader now now the installing the bootloader is only the main task here see if it's installed in UFA then you are done You have successfully installed of when this thing configuration is done just wait a bit for some time here you go just wait for some time to install the bootloader now it looks for the other operating system whether it's installed in our PC just wait a second yeah yes it should be something like this the operating system it should be something like this windows vista loader that means your operating system has been detected by this if you don't see windows vista loader your operating system has not been de detected since i have converted ufvi into efi that sorry ufvi into your legacy support therefore it's displaying like this now just select s here this is the path yes wait for this to install the grub bootloader it reboots that's all just click on continue remove your installation media and click on continue yeah that's all you have installed your Kali Linux this is your windows 7 loader this is your windows 8 loader dual boot yeah, actually this is triple boot this is your Kali Linux thanks for watching for this video bye have a nice day